We're with Dr. James Dowd, the uh, author of the Vitamin D Cure. Uh, you've touched a little bit on some of the illnesses and conditions that can be related to vitamin D deficiently, deficiency. Uh, talk some more about those. You mentioned a whole host of them in your book. <laughs> and uh, what are some of the more common that you see? So, so the common conditions, um, uh, and it's easy to remember these common conditions that are associated with uh, vitamin D deficiency, are, are what I call the five M's, okay? Let's start with um, muscle and bone because that's the one that mm -hmm. most of us are familiar with. So vitamin D is very important in building bone mass, particularly during late fetal development, second and third trimester, okay. and throughout childhood. And, and a whole host of studies have come out now showing that if your bone mass is low early in childhood, your risk for low bone mass stays with you as you age, meaning osteoporosis, which we think of as a disease of elderly mm -hmm. patients, may actually start in childhood by just not saving up enough bone. You can think of your, your, your skeleton as a, a, an IRA, a, a retirement account, and you've got the first 20 years of life or so to fill that account up and then it's got to last okay. the rest of your life, okay? And if you don't fill it up, you start behind the eight ball, mm -hmm. okay? So, and so bone is very critical, uh, um, uh, de it's dependent on vitamin D for, uh, for optimizing bone mass, okay? Uh, muscle, not something we typically think of mm -hmm. as, uh, as something important related to vitamin D. But um, studies show in elderly populations uh, that deficient patients are weaker. They have less grip strength, they have less quadriceps strength, and they have less balance and coordination. So when they have these sit-stand tests where you sit in a chair, you walk 20 feet, you turn around, you come back, you sit back down, and you can time this. And when they do this in elderly patients who are vitamin D deficient, it takes them a lot longer to mm -hmm. do that uh, than uh, uh, when their vitamin D level is normal. Um, <clears throat> and we see more hip fractures in patients because of this instability mm -hmm. uh, and falls. So muscle and bone are important. Uh, 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 when it comes to uh, vitamin D. When you talk about muscle and bone, I think it's interesting, and most people I don't think know this, that how important it is early in life to establish that. I mean, most of us as young kids and teenagers aren't probably eating well and doing the things that we should, but that's when it's most important. Yeah, it's, I, you know, I try and emphasize that in the book because I was trained also as a pediatrician, mm -hmm. so I'm an adult and pediatric rheumatologist. Um, <clears throat> Uh, is the importance of vitamin D. Vitamin D is an anabolic hormone. You think about anabolic and catabolic hormones. Anabolic hormones, we all think of the sports on TV and uh, mm -hmm. people abusing human growth hormone um, and testosterone and these sorts of things. Well, vitamin D, um, uh, actually vitamin D was used, I was talking with uh, um, uh, uh, a friend of mine, uh, vitamin D was actually used um, early on, probably in the 40s or maybe even earlier, um, as an anabolic steroid for Olympic athletes. Um, uh, in Eastern Bloc countries, they thought, okay, this stuff is important for bone and muscle, and, and no one's looking for it, so maybe we can just like tank our athletes up with vitamin D and it'll have, we'll have an advantage. So there were some thoughts that it may have that. Now, it's certainly not as effective as human growth hormone yeah. and uh, um, testosterone in, 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 in those respects, but it still is a weak androgen, um, mm -hmm. uh, and, <clears throat> and so, as an androgen combined with all the other growth hormones that we have during childhood and we're building bone and muscle mass growing, um, it, it plays a facilitative role in accomplishing all of those tasks. Mm -hmm. And when it's not there, things are not optimized, okay? Mm -hmm. okay. Um, uh, and that places us at greater risk for things like osteoporosis at the other end and probably osteoarthritis at the end because what we know now is that osteoarthritis is probably more of a bone disease than a joint disease. Yes, your cartilage is deteriorating, mm -hmm but it's deteriorating because the foundation it sits on, your bone, is not healthy, mm. okay? And so unhealthy bone laid down in the beginning, it's like, a, it's like building a house. Mm. You, you, you build a lousy foundation, I don't care how expensive the materials are above ground, if the foundation is rotten, you're gonna have problems later on, mm -hmm. okay? And that's exactly how I think of the effects of vitamin D early in childhood on consequence of disease later in life.